John, congratulations for being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. I have a few questions I want to ask you about your background. The first is, what individuals have had the greatest influence on you as a and your wrestling career? Uh, it's you know, been a lot of people, but uh, I would have to say to start out, you know, my family. Um, my parents were very supportive. My mom was, you know, the type of person that would drive me anywhere and everywhere she had to to, to you know, get me to a wrestling tournament. And, uh, you know, was always supporting me in any way that she could. My, my dad, uh, my brothers, my sister, they all, you know, supported me. And I think, you know, those individuals, first of all, uh, you know, were some of my biggest supporters. My oldest brother started wrestling when he was a sophomore in high school and introduced it to our family, so uh, he was a big influence, would come home and um, show wrestling moves on me and got me started. So, I mean, I think my family, most of all, and then in the high school, my first coach, really, I didn't really have a coach before high school. I wrestled some freestyle and with my with my older brother, but my coach, Dan Gonzalez, at Grace Davis High School was uh, was definitely a big influence, was uh, just somebody that taught you to be a good sportsman and, um, you know, really expected us to be uh, great competitors and good sportsmen and big influence there. He wasn't, you know, a great technician, you know, overall, I would say, but he worked us very hard and, uh, you know, blew the whistle a lot and <laughs> built mental toughness in us. And he just was a good man that expected us to be good young men. So uh, I think my coach, my first coach, uh, in high school was definitely a big influence. Um, my college coach also went went to college and um, Joe C was my coach and he was a big influence I think in a lot of ways not just as a as a wrestler you know he was the type of coach that was there uh, anytime we needed them to to open up the wrestling room 24-7 uh, if we needed to go to the Midlands tournament, he would find a way to get us there. You know, Bakersfield, we didn't have the best wrestling budget, but Joe would find a way to get us get us wherever we needed to go. And, and I think really he was probably one of the first influences on me as a coach, just seeing his passion as a coach. And like I said, he would open the room for us You know, at midnight. Wh whatever it took, he would be there. Right. So. I think he was influenced me then as a coach also. Um, you know, there, like I said, there's so many individuals, other ones that I could name off quickly, just really influenced me in different ways. Um, you know, Dave Schultz, coaching with him at Wisconsin. Um, you know, coaching as a, as a first First time head coach at Calvary Chapel High School, working with uh, uh, Jeff Roberts was a big influence on me as far as a coach, becoming a better coach. Um, so there, you know, there's been a lot of individuals through the years. It's, it's, uh, I mean, that's the reason, you know, we love the sport. I think there's, we love what we do. There's just the personal relationships that you develop, and there's so many of them, and so many people that have helped me in so many ways. I understand, John. John, uh, who is, who is, or who was your idol? I think I've had probably one idol, and that was Dan Gable, that I can really remember idolize, kind of idolizing him as a high schooler. Um, I don't remember the years when the book came out, but I got his book, The Dan Gable Story, uh, and I remember him winning the Olympics and all that, and just idolizing him. And uh, I remember I got my mom to to buy me a push mower because in his book he talked about you know mowing the lawn with a push mower just to, for a workout, you know, to to get tougher, get in better shape. And I remember I. I don't think I use that push mower though that often, <laughs> but uh, 
but uh, I mean, I think Dan was definitely someone that I would say I kind of I had a poster of him and all idolized. Um, you know, other people I remember going to the high school state meet when when I was in junior high and seeing some of the wrestlers and kind of idolizing them in the state finals and. But overall, you know, I think Gable was probably someone that I really looked up to and idolized. John, our next question, I think you've already touched upon, but I'll ask it anyway. Uh, how, how did you get started in wrestling? I think you referred to your brother earlier. Yeah, that's how I got started. And my, my older brother started wrestling at uh, Davis High School. He was a sophomore in high school. And, um, you know, he came home and started working his moves on me and torturing me a little bit and wrestling me with one arm on his knees and I um, also had a, had a cousin uh, that wrestled at Ceres High School, same age as my brother and um, you know I'd go to freestyle tournaments with them, they would take me to tournaments and practice with them and there wasn't a lot of organized kids clubs back then so it was just you kind of had to do it on your own before high school I mean so my my older brother got me started and my cousin uh, you know worked with me so John what do you contribute your success in wrestling to Well, I, I think it would have to start with just God-given abilities. I mean, I think I was a good athlete. Um, I was always pretty strong, you know, could do a lot of pull-ups. I could run fast, you know, in junior high I could run, do well in the races. I, I was a good athlete overall and um, I was a competitor. I, I'm, I think that's something you're born with in a lot of ways too. I mean, I was in a competitive family. I was the third boy, uh, the third of three boys, and I had a younger sister. We were pretty competitive, you know, in, in most of the things we did. Um, so I think being a part of that family and uh, being the third boy helped me. I was probably a little tougher than my older brothers from, from them, you know, <laughs> making me tough. Um, so God-given ability in my family and um, after that, I would just say my desire to be a great wrestler, my passion for the sport, and wanting to be the best. Um, I, I mean, if without that, it, it's tough to excel really in, in anything, but especially wrestling, it's so tough. You really have to have a, a real passion, I think, and desire. Love the sport. I love the sport. Yeah, I knew when I when my brother introduced me to it, it was I, I knew, hey, this is I want to be the best at this. John, is there one outstanding situation or memory that you have involving wrestling? Uh, it's hard to pick one. There's been a few, uh, you know, really memorable situations or outstanding situations. I mean, the, I think the one that really comes to m my mind most of the time is you know, winning the NCAA championship my senior year in college, my last chance, um, making the finals, and just before that match, just getting uh, very fearful that I wouldn't win. You know, and I, I can vividly remember just you know getting very fearful and uh, just thinking about maybe I'm not going to win this, you know, after being second twice and my last chance and uh, I just remember praying, you know, just praying and asking God to calm my heart and to give me, uh, you know, a calm, calm spirit to go out and compete my best and, and I just remember very strongly that God just calmed me and I just went out with a smile on my face and wrestled one of the best matches I ever wrestled in my life and uh, won the national title. I majored my opponent and I, I, I just re can remember that situation like it was yesterday. How, you know, just, it could have been a bad situation but, 
you know, God was just able able to calm my heart and through some prayer went out and wrestled a great match. Great. As a wrestler, John, is there one match that stands out in your mind? Apparently, it's just the <laughs> match you talked about. That is one of them. Definitely, that's one of them uh, that really stands out. Winning the state title my my junior year in high school though that one stand my my first state championship you know really my first major goal that I had set for myself to be a state champion in high school I I, I can remember that one winning winning the state championship just looking at the clock and the clock was ticking down and. Um, you know, making the Olympic team in 1980. You know, I remember remember that match. Just wow, it's over. You know, just it was a two out of three situation. I had won one, lost one. It was, you know, down to the wire with the last match and and winning that match. So, you know, a few of those matches I I can remember like they were yesterday. John, why did you decide to become a coach? Uh. You know, I, I think it was just a natural progression for me. I love the sport. Uh, you know, I talk to wrestlers, being involved in wrestling, a lot of great wrestlers, and they're like, I don't want to coach. <laughs> you know, they just, for their reason, they don't want to be a coach. For me, it was always like, what else, you know, what I want to do. You know, I just, I love the sport of wrestling. I, and I got to the point, like I said, with someone like Joe C., my coach in college, who really inspired me with his passion and to, to help kids reach their goals, you know, to be there for them. And, and that's something that I saw when I was in college. Like, man, I want to do that, you know. Because I, I could just remember on what an impact and what a help he was to me, you know, to reach my goals the way he, the way he was. And I said, that would be fun to do. You know, I love the sport. And I just didn't see myself ever doing anything else, to be honest with you. I just, there wasn't anything else I really wanted to yeah, do. It seemed natural. Um, if you could start all over again, John, would you do anything different either as a coach or a wrestler? As a coach or a wrestler? You know, as a wrestler, you know, I've thought of it before, really. I had a great career. There's just not really, I mean, obviously there's situations you look where you, you know, you probably could have been a little more disciplined here or there and overall, but 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 I think I gave it my all, you know. And as a coach, there's there's you know there's some things that I I would change probably some different decisions. But that's easy to say now, you know. Yeah. Hindsight is twenty twenty. But really, a lot of those experiences have made me who I am. The mistakes that I've made. So in a lot of ways, you don't want to change some of those because it, it's made you a better coach, a better person. Um, I mean, I think overall, I really wouldn't change much, to be honest with you. I've had a great career. And what would you like people to remember about you? Um, I mean, as a wrestler, I think that I was a great competitor, you know, and, and I've had people come up to me through the years and say, I remember when you wrestled, you know, we enjoyed watching you wrestle. You know, that, that's, that's neat to hear that they enjoyed watching me wrestle. And I think that's good because I was an offensive wrestler. I went out there to score a lot of points. And, um, you know, that, that's neat to hear that people like that, liked watching me. And um, so I guess that I was a great competitor, a great sportsman. Um, you know, hopefully I never did anything as a wrestler that, you know, turned people off or made me think I was a, a jerk or something. Yeah. You know, a great competitor, great sportsman, and same as a coach, you know, that I was a great competitor and great sportsman as a coach. And um, I, I mean, I think that's probably what I'd want people to Terrific. remember. In ending, how did wrestling contribute to your life? That's, yeah, obviously been a huge part of my life. <laughs> I started wrestling in junior high and I'm still coaching it, so it's, it's been a huge part of my life. I've made a big contribution uh, in, in many ways is 
you know, formed me, shaped me in, in who I am today, and humbled, humbled me, you know, in a lot of ways. It's, it's a humbling sport in a lot of ways. Coaching is very humbling in a lot of ways. So, um, you know, and it, it showed me too, you know, when I was in college, wrestling, you know, I lived for wrestling in a lot of ways, had a wrestling scholarship to Oklahoma State and all that, and it, it just showed me that there were other things that, um, you know, I think that were more important in life, and, you know, and that's when I realized that, you know, knowing God, having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ was was more important. Wrestling was my God at one point, and in a lot of ways it fails you. You know, you win national titles, and you win state titles, and, um, you know, the glory fades, I guess you can say, after a while. You know, it's always, well, what are you going to do next? You know, even moving from high school where I was very successful, now I'm in college. You know, people want to know what, you know, well, what are you going to do now? Um, and I found that with my relationship with God, that uh, He loves me regardless. He loves me unconditionally. And I think wrestling led me to that. You know, it showed me that... Uh, wrestling wasn't the most important thing in my life so I think that's what it really contributed most of all it, it led me to God and to become a Christian and I think that's been the you know the most important thing that uh, wrestling's done for me in my life so that's terrific congratulations John and, and thank you for your contributions to wrestling thank you